Sabrina? What happened? Did I kill him? Maurice! The Sisters Winter Finale is here. Danny? What did he do to you? Did he hit you? And next Wednesday... This is not about them. This is about us. And the promise we made to each other. That we would never let them do us like this again. So what's the plan? I'm gonna end it. The winter finale of... What's up, guys? I'm Crystal Lee Naomi, a.k.a. Jasmine Borders on Tyler Perry's Sisters. Be sure to subscribe to the Haves and the Have Nots review for not only reviews on the Haves and the Have Nots, but also on Sisters. And while you're at it, give your girl a follow on Instagram, at Crystal Lee Naomi. And I'll see you every Wednesday at night, only on BET. All right, Sisters fans, I hope everyone is doing well. Let's talk about the trailer that you just saw for next week's episode, which is the mid-season finale, Thinking of You, episode 12 of Sisters Season 2. Now, if you watch my episode review for The Hot Stove, 3 out of 10, it wasn't a great episode, sue me. So, before going further into this trailer, oh, I mean, this, oh yeah, let's, let's, let's slow it down here. This will be the final trailer breakdown for 2020, so let's, yeah. Uh, make sure you go ahead and like the video, hit subscribe, click the bell notification icon and select all. That way you are notified whenever I post new content to the channel and follow me on social media. Links are in the description below. So let's talk about it. Thinking of you airing December 23rd next Wednesday. Andy believes she is being punished for dating a married man. Mm -hmm. Calvin and Maurice enter into an agreement. Danny and Sabrina stand in full support of Andy as she attempts to make things right with Gary. Okay, so, um, as always, this will be my breakdown of both the end credit trailer as well as the actual trailer you saw at the beginning of the video. So, it looks like Karen and Aaron rush over to Andy's place to see what's going on. Uh, Andy is sitting up in her bed and Karen sits down and asks whether or not Gary hit her. Let me just say up front, this trailer did an awful job when it, it it just ruined any suspense of what happened in the hot stove because we don't know what Gary did to Andy because we cut over to, uh, I think it was Fatima and Zach. And then the end of the episode left it unclear what happened to Gary because it sounded like he crashed into something on Aaron's phone. So now in the trailer, you not only reveal Andy is just, well, I don't want to say okay. I mean, we don't know what happened. We don't know if Gary left her, you know, on the floor or if Gary put her up in the bed and then left her apartment. We don't know. All we know is that Andy is alive. And then Gary's at the very end of the trailer. And, okay, I'll get to that in a second. So uh, Sabrina is on the phone with Maurice. You know, she's still at the house. I mean, at the bank and she's like Maurice you're going to jail is he dead it's like well it doesn't matter it was self-defense we're even and it's like how long before the police show up not long they must be on the way now fine let me go get my lashes and hair I look good for my mug shot and um you know Danny and Preston are talking about I guess it's like the next morning because it looks like they're having breakfast it's like so what are you planning for today you know cows flies manure hmm, okay and uh, uh Zach is coming over to Danny and uh, oh yeah, yeah this is obviously the same night when Zach comes back to uh, the apartment for some reason his shirt is still unbuttoned basically breaking down to Danny that he has a second job she thinks has something to do with drugs obviously it's with chain breakers and um, then it seems like the rest of the trailer is focused on like the next morning I guess it's the next morning and they're at the bank so <sighs> Obviously, this is Andy going to give the 250000 to Gary because it looks like Gary and Aaron are there. And then you had the four women there. All right. So I think the dialogue was this isn't about them in reference to men. It's about us and the promise we made to each other that we never let them do us like this again. And he's like, I'm going to end it. And I wonder what that means. Like. Will this send Gary away? Will he leave her alone? Is that why Aaron's there for not only to be a witness, but spiritual support? I I don't want to sound like I'm... I, I just feel like... If you feel like I'm attacking the sister's characters, you need to watch my Bruh reviews. Even if you've never watched Bruh, 
watch that show because obviously that's the male equivalent of sisters. And in that show, I dog on some of the male characters because they're in the wrong, especially Bill and Mike. But when it comes to sisters, I'm not going to hold punches either because it's a female driven show. But I think this is a terrible I look, look. I don't want to jump on that bandwagon of Tyler Perry. He needs to have black women to write, write the show because he don't know how to write for women. I will say this is an awful representation of women. <laughs> I mean, it really is. Look, there are men and women who both need to grow up and admit to their own shortcomings because we need to make sure they don't do us like this. Well, to be fair, most of y'all are in the situations you're in because of your own damn decisions. Like Danny and Preston, Danny's the one who ruins the dynamic between the two because of the fact that Preston's a good guy, white or black. I mean, well, obviously it's the whiteness makes it a problem when he says and does certain things, but he's a good man trying to do right by Danny, but she treats everything as a joke. She loves to be in control. And if you step out of line, basically she's going to be pissed off. And when you try to make amends, she's going to be cold towards you. So when you back off and try to move on, she's going to get mad about it. Karen, that's just a hot mess in itself. You know, the whole situation with Aaron, I mean, Andy's one thing, the whole Gary situation, but don't forget all the crap that Karen went through before her and Aaron actually had sex and yet they're still together. It's just ridiculous. Sabrina is just, I don't even know what to say. Just insecure. I mean, it's one thing to be suspect about Calvin, but I feel like there's st uh, stuff going on that she is uncertain about. And I'm not saying, you know, like she's uh, questionable about her sexuality. That's not what I'm saying, but it's just like Sabrina's issues seem to be self-inflicted. I feel like that goes to say that goes on for a lot of the women. And Andy, need I say more? Andy believes she is being punished for dating a married man. It's not even about him being married. It's about him being just an awful person. But yeah, being married is... I mean, you look at everything Gary... as I mean, Andy stood up for herself for like four seconds before. I love you. And it's like, I need to process this. You almost lost everything because of Gary. And now you are back and better than ever, yet you still want to. This is why they say, like, you know, when you elevate yourself, you can't take everybody. Not everybody can go up the ladder with you because these same people will bring you back down. That's Andy right there, because everything that Jasmine's saying is coming to fruition. And at this point, I don't know what to say. I honestly don't. It looks like she's going to get the money back, but we'll just have to wait and see what happens. I, I don't know. Danny and Sabrina stand in full support of Andy as she attempts to make things right with Gary. No, she needs to give the money back and tell him to get the hell away. But then again, I don't know. This is, I don't know what to say. This is ridiculous, but thinking of you. Mm -hmm. oh, all right, so Calvin and Maurice entered into agreement. It probably has stuff to do about, um, excuse me, probably has stuff to do about the, uh, you know, roommate situation. Um, and that's all I got to say. You let me know what you think in the comment section below about the midseason uh, finale for sisters because my gosh this uh, this is a hot mess right here um, if you would like to donate to the channel feel free to do so on PayPal or cash app or if you want to join patreon feel free to do so for as little as one dollar a month thanks so much for tuning in guys and I'll talk to you soon